Hello, welcome to another video. And today we're gonna to be discussing about my reaction to the USM team March roster for Nations League. So let's begin. So this is a very huge roster for the US. Obviously, this is gonna be the first camp since the World Cup and official camp because there was a camp cupcake camp back in January where we played both Serbia and Colombia. So obviously there was that, but obviously this is the first official camp for the U.S. 70 post World Cup. Uh, I thought that the U.S. 70 would have a new head coach by now, but head Anthony Hudson is still the head coach. So let's discuss over our keynotes over this roster. It's a 24-man roster, kind of disappointing, kind of disappointing. 24-man. Uh, Mexico and other nations are bringing like 30 plus players, and we only bring 24. Obviously, we could have convinced a lot more players to go to this camp. Obviously, in MLS, there's a couple of guys in Europe as well. Um, however, there's only one MLS player. One MLS player in this entire roster, which is pretty interesting to see. Uh, only 13 players from the World Cup are in this roster. So, from the, from the original World Cup roster, off the top of my head, I can only name about 13 players that I remember that were on this, on the World Cup roster. So this is pretty interesting. New new faces, fresh faces. So it's going to be pretty interesting to see who are these new faces. Uh, no Tyler Adams, Malik Tillman, Cameron Carter, Vickers, Josh Sargent, and Chris Richards. Uh, I think with all of these, I think there's mostly injuries. I, I don't think Cameron Car Carter, Vickers did not have an injury most definitely he did not have an injury so obviously i think he i think cameron carter vickers was the biggest snub from this list he was snubbed pretty hard like let's be real over here he was snubbed like i was i was pretty i was pretty mad about that so now let's just about this goalkeepers matt turner even horbab zach Sutton. you go with the best three goalkeepers and i respect that uh matt turner i think has to start both games i think for right now he is the current front runner but i will have an even horbab having him as a close second zach Sutton, i believe when he, he is at his best he is he can probably be the number one but obviously he is pretty inconsistent even at club level he is pretty inconsistent so sometimes he can produce some really huge really huge performances and other times maybe not so much so obviously zach Steffen, he he's currently right now finding us finding some trying to find some consistency and if i were zach Steffen, i'll try to find that right now uh if, so obviously for right now I think it should be Matt Turner. Um, even with all that, even with all those playing time decreases, he still looks good in goal for Arsenal. He didn't look too good. He he looked pretty bad against Sporting, but obviously you cannot you cannot always be a good goalkeeper at this high level. So there's that. So next is going to be center backs. Center backs is going to be Tim Ray, Mark McKenzie, Miles Ronson, and Austin Trusty. So pretty much only one center back from the World Cup is on this roster, and it's going to be Tim Ream. Tim Ream is uh, obviously for me. Obviously, he should only start the El Salvador game, and we should probably have some looks on the other center backs as well. Uh, I would like to see Ma Miles Ronson come back against. El Salvador, and and if our Anthony Hudson I'll start him pretty much against El Salvador, we cannot risk him getting injured on those shitty Grenada pitches. So there's that. Mark McKenzie and Austin Trusty, obviously, um, they're they're both really good, and I'll start both of them against Grenada. Uh, so obviously this is a pretty interesting center back camp, and key note over here is that all these center backs are left footed. Yes, uh, you heard that right. All of these center backs are left-footed. Uh, the only player that plays on the right side consistent, consistently is probably Miles Brownson. Outside of that, pretty much all of them are left-sided, left-footed center backs. And this is where the decision to not bring Cameron Carter-Vickers to camp was kind of a terrible decision by Anthony Hudson. This is where 
this is where it gets pretty bad for him. Uh, if I were Anthony Hudson, I'm, I would have brought Cameron Carter Vickers. I would have, I would have, or at least try to bring Eric Palm Brown one of the two, but he did not, <laughs> which, which was a pretty bad decision by Anthony Hudson. Uh, fullbacks, Jedi Ron Sinser, Gino Dust, Brian Reynolds, Joe Scally. This is a really good fullback group. No DeAndre Yedlin, no, no Shaq Moore, no, none of those players because obviously fullbacks is a going to be a very, it looks pretty good right now. Uh, and Anthony Robinson now probably is only starting for the El Salvador game. I would like to have some looks at Joe Scally against Grenada at left back. Uh, Sergio Neras and Brian Reynolds. I'll start Brian Reynolds against against um. Against Grenada and Sergio Dust against El Salvador. Or, okay, I think I'm comfortable with starting Jedi Ronson in both games. He is that, he is, he, Jedi Ronson's him. He's him. He's definitely him. And obviously, I'll mostly for the Grenada game, I'll probably switch out Brian Reynolds and Joe Scali. Playing, playing, play them 45 minutes each. Just try to see how they look. Um, so obviously this is a pretty good, pretty pretty good fullback group. Uh, if I if I were gonna bring another fullback up, I, I would have probably bring in like a John Tolkien, maybe. Um, question mark. Uh, or maybe go if like an, another right back. Um, probably not. Marlon Fossey has been really good in Belgium. So that's a keynote here, but if I were going to have a look at Marlon Fossey, I'm mostly going to have him. If I were if I were the coach, I would have him a look at him during Gold Cup. Um, Marlon Fossey has been really good. Him and Brian Reynolds in Belgium have been very good, and obviously I like to see them both during Gold Cup. <laughs> if I'm going to be really honest with you guys. Um, this is a pretty good, pretty good group of fullbacks. So I'm honestly impressed by Anthony Hudson's selection here. So thank you, Anthony Hudson, for this great selection of fullbacks. So next is going to be midfielders: Yunus Musa, Mustafa McKenney, Johnny Cardoso, Luca De La Torre, Brendan Aronson, and Alan Sonyora. So pretty much, Alan Sonyora runs this group uh, by by far. It's by far. Uh, I know most of our midfielders were injured. Jordan Mahalovic was injured. Tyler Adams is out with an injury. Uh, who else? I um, I can't remember much. So, but mostly this this is pretty bad. Uh, obviously there's great selections here with the first five, but Alan Singer just ruins it all. Uh, obviously. There's there's midfielders in MLS that you could have chosen that are in good form. Um, I can just name Aiden Morris off the top of my head, like Aiden Morris, Frankie Maya. Like you could have selected anybody, but you selected it on Signora, which was a pretty bad decision by Anthony Hudson. Um, who are other midfielders that I, I can remember about? Um, European. Alex Mendes, you could have had a look at Alex Mendes, but you decided to waste it on Alan Signora. Yep, this is where, yeah, no. Tanner Tessman, again. Uh, Leonard Maloney has been looking pretty good in Bundesliga too, but maybe not yet for him. So obviously there were some other midfielders that you could have selected, but obviously you decided to bring... On Senora, which I do not know why, but obviously I, obviously with the other five, they're pretty good. I have a, I, I have, in the in the two games I have, I will take a look on Johnny Cardoso for both games if I were Anthony Hudson. I know we need a backup for Tal Adams, and obviously Colin Costa is not going to be yet. So obviously if I were Anthony Hudson, start Johnny Cardoso at the six for both games. Like you're playing against Grenada and El Salvador, so you can risk it. I know, I know you can, Anthony Hudson. So yeah, wingers, wide players: Christian Pulisic, Tim Weah, Gio Reyna, Alex Sanchez, and Taylor Booth. So obviously, Christian Pulisic, I'll only play him for the El Salvador game. I wouldn't risk him at all for the Grenada game. It's too much of a risk. Uh, Tim Weah, 
Uh, Tim Wilde's been playing more of a, uh, more as a fullback as of recently, but obviously he can do a job at the, as a as a right winger, and he's our right winger for us right now. So obviously, as an attacking player, obviously Tim Wilde is great. Uh, Gio Reyna. Gio Reyna has been like kind of been up and down for Dortmund, but obviously, if at his best, he can produce some very good displays. Against Chelsea, he was really good. Although Dortmund lost that game two to zero, Gio Reyna was their best player. It was Dortmund's best player by far. It was by far he was their their best player. And obviously, after the World Cup, Gio Reyna was scoring some match winning goals and. He was producing some very good performances off the bench for Dortmund. So, obviously, Gio Reyna is him right now at the moment. Alex Sandejas, obviously, we got Alex Sandejas, which is a very good sign uh, at as a right winger. I think it's going to be a very good player to have. Uh, Taylor Booth, Utrecht, obviously, he is a very good player as well. And, obviously, I'm very happy that we have both of these players here. They're both great. So, that's what I'm hoping we can see at Nations League at this camp. So next is going to be Strikers. So Strikers, Daryl DK, and Ricardo Pepe. So I'll have a look at each for one game. Uh, Ricardo Pepe has been in form right now for Groningen and has been scoring goals. Although Groningen are last to be added busy, he has still been a really great player for them. Daryl DK... Um, as soon as he came back from that injury, he has been looking amazing. He has been scoring goals, sometimes dropping some bases here and there. So, obviously, I'm very impressed by Daryl Dika's current form right now. Um, so obviously, the, this is a very good striker group. Um, but however, I'm very surprised we didn't bring Haji right, which I was, you know, I was expecting. Uh. Other guys are probably going to be a Maurice Malone, maybe. Maybe we'll try to bring in some a surprise dual national. Uh, Jordan Peefock. He, uh, Jordan Peefock hasn't been that good as of recently, but he's still a Bundesliga player. And if I were you, I'd probably try to bring him. Uh, who else? Oh, I'm surprised he didn't bring Jesus Ferreira. And I'm surprised he didn't bring Jordan Morris as well as a wide player, which... Is a very good sign. And Christian Hold on. No more Christian Hold on at midfield for this camp. Another good sign by Anthony Hudson. So all I hope is when it when the MLS camp comes, I hope there's no 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 MLS no no Christian Hold on no. Uh, in the April camp against Mexico, I know there's gonna be MLS players, but still, uh, there's I hope there's no Christian Hold on no Jordan Morris no Jesus maybe Jesus Ferreira. But obviously, Dora Morris, Christian Don, Paul Riola, they're out. They get him out of the roster as quickly as possible. Um, I know, I know it's gonna be very hard to see them. I know it's gonna be very hard to see their giveaways. Like it's gonna be hard to see their giveaways gone. But so, but <laughs> so we're gonna, we they're gonna be missed like their shots and their passes during game. So. Uh, like a little joke over there. So, yeah, this is pretty much a pretty nice roster. If I'm going to have to do a starting 11, I, this is how it would look like. For Grenada, um, mostly we'll start Matt Turner and goal with a back four of Robinson, Trusty, Mc, Mark McKenzie, Brian Nelson, Joe Scali, uh, and or Joe Scali. Uh, midfield three, Luca Del Torre, Johnny Cardoso, and Yunus Musa. And the front three will be Reyna, DK, and Sandejas. I know you guys didn't see Taylor Booth over there, but obviously for both games, Taylor Booth is going to be the first guy off the bench for both games. One at midfield, one as a wide player. Um, and next is going to be against El Salvador. So this is my formation. I'll probably choose Matt Turner, back four, Rotten Jedi, Tim Ream, Miles Robinson, Sergio Dest. Midfield three of Mark McKenzie. Johnny Cardoso and Yunus Musa, and a front three of Christian Pulisic, Ricardo Pepe, and Tim Wah. This is a pretty much a very deadly lineup, and obviously I'm expecting us to win both games. Like we're facing us Grenada away. I know it's an away match, and Grenada have shitty fields, but again, we're going against a, a literal island. We should be winning this game by far, and against El Salvador, a small ass country. 
in Central America and we're the home side playing in Orlando. So that's an easy win. So we should be winning these two games. I know Salvador do tend to give us some hard time to the U.S. sometimes, especially because their manager is Hugo Perez and he knows our players a lot. But obviously, with these new faces, I'm very confident that we should be able to collect three points on each of those games, qualify the Gold Cup, and obviously look very bright for the future in 2023 as the Nations League finals are approaching and Gold Cup is approaching, which are two big tournaments. So we need to take advantage of them. So yeah. Um, so basically, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.